Hello and welcome to episode number two of this Let's Play Oxygen, not included here at Animal Show. So last episode, we uh, kind of got started, we uh, got some toilets out, we got some batteries out uh, to produce a little bit of heat in this uh, very, 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 very cold place. Um, we also figured out that we have like a little natural gas geyser right next to us, um, so, so that could be... Uh, um, uh, an interesting kind of feature. We're already starting to uh, research some food production and um, we are gonna have to, um, well, we're gonna have to produce quite a lot of food. I think um, uh, for a regular playthrough where we haven't tweaked with the difficulty settings, I think five meal lice per duplicant are gonna be all right. But um, since we don't, well, since we are playing on a harder difficulty, we're gonna have to have ten um, meal lice per duplicate. So uh, what I do think we're gonna have to do, I think we're actually basically gonna have to start, uh, well, looking for meal lice. So we have a couple of here, so one, two, um, three, uh, four, five, ooh. Yeah, there aren't many around here. Six, seven, eight, nine, yeah, so we might have to dig up here. Um, Oh, this is all ready, ready to harvest, and so is this one. So uh, what are we going to do? Uh, I think we're just going to start digging straight up. Uh, and then we're going to switch lanes here. Excuse me. And we're going to dig up here. And uh, we probably don't need that one. And like so. There we go. Now, if you're very lucky, very, very lucky, we are... Gonna be able to harvest you, 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 and perhaps some of you. There was also a tiny little shine bug up here, which could be nice. Uh, we're also gonna start digging down here, although that is probably not gonna be a good idea. So we might have to deconstruct you and dig down here. Uh, there is a little bit of oxalite down here, which is nice. Um, let's also just uh, stick another ladder in here. So we have like a little uh, sinkhole for the carbon dioxide. All the carbon dioxide is going to flow down here. And, um, well, we'll see how this is going to go. Uh, I do think we can speed up the game a tiny little bit. See how far we have gotten on the research. Um... Let's see here. We are way up here. We have uh, done two out of 15. Um, so we should have this also. Let's see if these batteries are actually keeping these rooms a little bit uh, warm. I have a feeling they might not be because they're not producing that much heat. Uh, we already have our first uh, printing pod thing here. So if we go in here and we choose a blueprint. All right, so we could either grab a new uh, a duplicate to join our colony or we can make uh, select a care package of um, 3000 grams, uh, kilograms worth of uh, fertilizers or three hashling eggs. I'm very tempted to go with the fertilizers, but I'm also kind of tempted to go with these because eventually they will, they will grow up and we can kind of, you know, whack them in the head and put them uh, on the frying pan. I, I kind of feel that could be a good idea. All right, we're going to do that. We're going to have three um, eggs here. Uh, we could also make omelets out of the eggs, but I don't think we have anybody that is good uh, at cooking. To operate the grill that we need to uh, to operate. Let's see here what is going on here. Why is this not being... Um... Oh, it was a ladder, but it got flooded with sand. No worries, no worries. Look, we already have only four kilo calo uh, four thousand kilocalories left. That means uh, we already have to start desperately looking for food. Um, desperately, 
is uh, the main uh, clue here. I do also wonder if we should uh, start planning out where we would like to have our farm, or if we should just wait until uh, Mary here is done with the research. Oh, yeah, you go to, to the toilet, please. No peeing on the ladder. Uh, let's also have a quick little look at uh, the germs here. You can kind of see all the yellow dots here. They are food poisoning germs, and they kind of get washed off after they're done. Good. Um, oh my, only 2,000 kilocalories left. Yeah, we are having a problem, guys. We really, really are. Food shortages, we are well aware of it. I do wonder if we should start... Let's see, we, we had a project going on down here. All of these we could uh, dig up. Uh, the muck brooch here. They should provide us with a little bit of food. So, we're gonna need... You know what? I think we're just gonna toggle these to be attacked. Uh, not the batteries. Can we select to hatch? Alright, there we go. And they will do that in the morning, uh, hopefully. I also wonder if they will eat up their own eggs. I don't, I don't think they will. Um, <laughs> That would have been funny. There we go. New day, and we are already starting to fight. Toad is uh, making food out of them. That is nice. Now we have 8,000 kilocalories. That should uh, keep us going for one more day. Oh gosh, food is gonna be such a pain to deal with. Oh, hello. What do we have here? A cool steam vent. <gasps> oh, that is perfect. If we can survive long enough, we should be able to, to utilize this steam vent. This is basically producing water for us. Um, man, we, we have actually... I, I thought this was a geodormant uh, kind of thing. Uh, but we have already found two uh, cool steam vents here. Uh, not, not too cool, Steam, but two vents. One natural gas thing here. What is the temperature in here? I, I think it is... Oh, we don't get any information about it? Yeah, it, it drops with 150 degrees. Alright, fair enough, fair enough. Um, I do think we're going to have to dig our way in here as well. Uh, now, you see these uh, little things here that kind of has, like, these small kind of cracks in it. There, there might be food in those. Um, I say there might. Um, so there is uh, not 100% certain, but, um, but we'll cross our fingers and hope for the best. Let's see how long... 75% growth. It's two degrees in here. They kind of need to have a temperature of at least, what is it, 10? Yeah, so it's going to be problematic uh, to uh, to get this colony to survive um, early on. Let's see, we should be able to get down here and pick up these things here. Let's see how we found out oh, there is a hashling in here. I think we'll just uh, attack him straight off the bat. Since he's kind of sleeping, we can just take him while he's sleeping. It's, um, there we go. Uh, not quite sure what just happened. I think we finished our research. Yes, so we're going to do this research as well. Uh, we could make a compost pile here. Let's see here. Oxygen. We can make uh, algae terrariums now. That means uh, we're going to utilize water. Uh, an algae to uh, produce um, or convert uh, carbon dioxide into oxygen. I don't think that is uh, something we need. But speaking of oxygen, we don't have any oxygen production here yet, do we? Um, oxygen overlay, it's a little bit... Yeah, the, the, the problem here is that all the oxygen is going to be flowing up here. Um... So that is definitely going to be a problem and a half. Um, 
maybe two halves, but we'll see, we'll see. 12,000 kilocalories, okay, we are set for another couple of days, that is nice. Also, all the, uh, the oxalite has been uh, used up. Uh, let's see here, what is the temperature down here? Six degrees, eight degrees, very cold, super cold, awfully cold, okay. Let's hope that we can... Uh, By the way, does that mean we can... Oh, could stick in a compost pile in here. I do think the compost will uh, will make everything very hot. Let's see if we can uh, stick this down here. Because we would like to have uh, the food in carbon dioxide, uh, so uh, the food won't rot. I think this is a good place for it. Let's see here. Temperatures. They're already complaining about temperatures. Uh, we are well aware of that. And we're going to make sure everything is put in here. We're going to put that into nine. Uh, we're going to deconstruct this one here. Let's see here. Uh, we also kind of would like to put in a door in here just so we don't break this room. Because if we have the room bonus, they they, uh, they won't lose morale, which is uh, kind of important. Uh, what are you eating, Toad? Well, we'll figure that one out eventually. All right. The food box has been created. Now we just need to move all the food from here down to here. And uh, hopefully a little pocket of carbon dioxide. I am also very tempted to actually deconstruct you let's see here let's use this here so we because if we click one more time no because we didn't have any wires going down if, if we had wires underneath here um, we can just click multiple times to select and wires if we see here you have wires going down here and also ladders so if we click on the ladder here and click one more time we should get the wire good so um, since we didn't have anything here, we're just going to deconstruct that, and we're also going to dig down here. Uh, just to help out with um, with um, uh, gas flowing here. So um, let's also speed up the game a tiny little bit. And then we're going to have to start planning out how we would like to do it with um, food. So every, let's see here, we'll put a door in here, and I'm kind of thinking, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Are these the same? No, they're not. Well, they will be. When, 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 we, when we have removed this one here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and a door. So we're gonna have to make... Um, planter boxes here. So one, two, three, four. So that's for one. Uh, we probably can cancel this because we don't need that. And that's going to be another one. Um, and then we could try to utilize this. This is going to be kind of problematic, I think. But it would have been nice. Or... We could just move uh, the research station down here uh, together with... Yeah, I think that might be a better idea. Uh, so we don't have to dig up more than necessary. Let's see here. So, power production. We'll put you down here. And then we'll also put the research station down here. Move the wires from here into here 
Um, and we're already out of copper, which is uh, not quite ideal. We have a little bit of copper laying around here. So we'll just utilize those. Food shortage, yeah, we are kind of well aware of that. We should have enough for at least one day. We have some mockwood laying around here. So we should be able to um, to survive. There's another muckroach. There's nobody moving the muckroot here. It would have been very nice if they did. We have a little bit of food in here. Uh, let's speed up. Also, the stress factor is going up a little bit. Let's see what... Let's see, she's hungry. Well, that stress will eventually uh, go away when they go and eat. Hopefully. Alright, it's already night time. Oh, they have to travel quite a long time to get to the food. So are they gonna bring him back? There we go. So she's sitting here with the battery eating. Hein is sitting here with what is gonna be the machine. And hopefully uh, the stress will go down a little bit. Uh, Toad is also hungry, and already we are out of uh, food. Oh, man, this is this is terrible. So let's just. They spent the entire night. <laughs> oh, that is gonna be um, not good. I think. Uh, I think we are also gonna uh, deconstruct you and perhaps you as well. We'll keep the battery for now. We could just utilize regular plant boxes. <sighs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That should be enough for one dupe. And then we'll put some um, more plant boxes in here. I'm just trying to think here. One, two. And there is a tiny little bit of a wire here we can deconstruct. All right, so we are going to plant Milais here. We only have three seeds. Oh, my. So, oh, we can't plant that yet because uh, it's to um, it doesn't have enough room to grow here I see you should have enough room to grow so we'll plant you and then we'll just uh, copy the settings over here there we go I think we did it maybe not there we go we have our first me lice growing This is going to be... Oh, we still need a little bit more food. Oh, somebody's going to go hungry. All right, let's see if there is anything interesting in here. Can we make that uh, a high priority? Mary? Kind of mid-air here. Well, there was something in here. There was a hatch. Hatchling, so we're going to take him. There we go. That should give us enough food to... Uh, to um, survive at least a day or so. Here, my friend, copy the settings like so. We still have powers in the batteries, that is good. So they can admit a little bit of heat. And they're growing. What temperature is it here? It's rapidly getting cold in here. So weird we have so few seeds. I kind of feel like usually we um, we get a little bit more seeds. What temperature is here? 15. I'm 
actually tempted to um, to go in here to the plumbing section and stick you in here, just so we can utilize this water before we utilize this. Can we deactivate this disabled building? And uh, let's use this water here first. So we'll do something like that. And we'll... Um, Sure, get a little bit of copper here. Doesn't doesn't hurt anybody. Uh, you don't have power. Or you're not connected into power. Let's fix that real quick. And we also have some copper down here. Let's just snag that. Cold, cold, cold. I'm also tempted to uproot these. Let's just do it. go. It's two degrees here. What is it? Four degrees Celsius in a, in a refrigerator, I think. Oh, you don't like that, do you? Let's do something like that so they don't have to go into the water and get uh, soggy feet. Okay, we should have enough uh, kilocalories for couple of days. Food is definitely an issue. Oh, Heine is getting sick. He is um, hypothermia. Oh, well. So he will um, sneeze a little bit. Um, let's see here. Hypothermia. Uh, it's not going to last that long. Also, his wet feet is going to be um, uh, giving him a little bit more stress. There we go. Some food. And look at that. We should have enough for one more. Um, oh, look at that. Yeah, Hein has a, a little bit. Do we produce germs? Well, let's hope not. Let's hope not. Yeah, but he's going to be sneezing a little bit, but luckily it didn't last for that long. At least I hope so. Um, yeah. It is almost already gone. There we go. So hopefully we could suck up all that water. And... Um, well, we'll see. Uh, bristle Blossom... Blistle, uh, bristle Blossom... Yeah, I... Is there anything here? These are not going to be... Um, yeah, these are not going to be growing because of the temperature. So what we can do... We're just going to uproot you. And we're going to uproot you. Uh, we still have 6,000 kilocalories left. Bless you. Let's see here. I'm kind of hoping we can get one harvest out of this bristle blossom before we... Before it gets too cold. Um, let's also uproot you. And let's also copy the settings here. And I also wonder if we should move this battery over here, where there should be a door, but instead... We'll do that. Actually, we do have a little bit of uh, food uh, laying around here. So we shouldn't be in, like, super instant um, problems. At least I hope so. Like... Mary's uh, back on researching. Uh, we are kind of low on oxygen. I do think we should... Oh, man, I'm very tempted to kind of close this up here. Because all the oxygen will flow up here and make like a weird pocket here. We'll have very bad oxygen here and a ton of carbon dioxide down here. Oh, it's kind of my plan to get like this being a large um, carbon dioxide storage area. Not quite sure how we're gonna deal with that yet, but we'll see how things go. 
All right, Tony's already going to bed. It is midday. Oh, speaking of, I do wonder if we do have... Uh, yeah, everybody has... We don't have any night owls or morning birds or early birds. Um, those characters will... Um, will perform better or worse uh, depending on the time of day they are up so we can kind of set the schedules uh, for them stress is getting way too high mary why are you so stressed holding your breath no oxygen yeah uh we're definitely gonna have to fix that so uh oxygen uh do you produce any heat yeah you do i think you actually produce more heat than a battery yeah so uh, why not we are gonna produce you and i kind of would have liked to have you here somewhere but since um since we don't have anything here yet we're just gonna kind of put that up here so we don't have to run any extra wires all right come on And here comes Toad, finishing off the, the oxygen diffuser. And let's see what we have here. Let's see here. We have ooh, more eggs. I'm actually very tempted to take another one, but I don't think we have enough uh, kilo uh, like enough food for that. I mean, we only have 5,000. So let's just uh, pick these Shinim's eggs. They're going to provide a little bit of, uh, of uh, light and such when and if they hatch. So... Um, so there is that. Uh, still a little bit low on the food side, so we are gonna operate you. Um, yeah, that should be good. But yeah, I do also think that is gonna be it for today. We kind of have started our food production. We are way, way far away from where we should be when it comes to food production. Uh, we're gonna have to be um, very careful here. Oh, there is actually a little bit of food. Way back here maybe we should do that next episode but yeah i think that is going to be it for today i hope you liked this episode if you did don't be afraid to leave a like comment and subscribe but most of all don't forget to keep smiling